वक्रतुंड महाकाय सूर्य कोटि Durvasa had um, 
he was just walking in the forest one day and then apsara one just one very beautiful apsara brought him a garland and gave it to him durvasa took that garland and then when he was walking he saw indra also going there so he gave the garland to indra you have this it's a very nice garland i got it from the apsaras and i'm now giving it to you but what indra did was he just took that garland he put it on airavata signal to airavata to throw it down airavata threw it down and stamped yeah. on it durvasa was so angry when he saw this because indra was thinking that i have all the gardens in the world and in my nandana garden i have millions of apsaras bringing gardens to me daily what is the use of this garland coming from one apsara that two from worldly sage is what he was thinking with so much pride he flung it even though it was given with an ashirvada by prasad uh, no no by durvasa muni then immediately durvasa muni said may all the power of heavens and of all your devotees all your devas your servants everybody just disappear within a flash of second from now they were all the power started going 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 the next morning when they got up all the devas they found that their limbs were weak their powers had gone they could not lift their weapons and throw it nor could they do any good thing so then when they were so tired the asuras who knew that this was happening immediately performed a huge sacrifice and in that sacrifice they got a lot of power from the sacrifice they started pouring a lot of ghee inside and lots of power started generating from that and then fully when the power generated it uh, brought a lot of spiritual energy inside them so this means that only the satyav all of these sacrifices are uh, you see can give you a feel if you do it in the modern days this sacrifice that sacrifice it can give you minimum result but not the result that you can get from the olden days sacrifices because now it is happening as kali yuga in kali yuga five acts are forbidden that is all the different religious things and many more also so this religious things that we do performing sacrifices are not at all considered in kali yuga so when this was happening at that time the asuras got lot of power attacked the devas and the devas could not do anything but surrender to the asuras all the devas were almost killed and the asuras had been by maharaja bali this is a different bali the two bali this one is a demoniac bali so he took the entire kingdom and he took it under his control and he he uh, and his name was maharaja bali so bali headed all the demons and fought a war killed all the devas some only some of the main devas principal devas used some of their powers and escaped from these danavas and finally these daityas danavas asuras all of them headed by maharaja bali went and took away entire kingdom of indra started living peacefully in that kingdom torturing every single other person and took away shachi devi also the wife of indra so when this was happening everybody was getting very scared of this dangerous demon who was called maharaja bali and uh, he finally um all these gods headed by indra went to brahma and begged them to do what what should we do what should we do like this then finally brahma told them ask vishnu i may not know all of this because i have only given them this power all of this and now my power is also exhausted so now i can't tell you what to do so i so i tell you um so i'll just invoke lord vishnu lord vishnu will tell you so then he invoked lord vishnu and lord vishnu came in front of him uh, and then brahma showed lord vishnu to all devas the devas offered respectful obeisances to the lord and finally what happened was all the different devi gods were just blessed by the lord by his divine glance and then the lord said this one thing that i have an idea and i know what has happened to you too even though you are not conveyed to me so you just make a plan of making a big um plan to bring out the nectar from the ocean after doing all of this just explain it to them and force them to believe that it's good for them and hypnotize them and make them it's correct for them everything else i take care and after that kurma avatar came in place and then mohini murti so this is the mohini murti part and then the rahu part of it so rahu came and sat within the place of all the demi gods and the sun and the moon immediately said that it was rahu and then mohini murti took her um swarshan chakra and cut it